So today we shall be considering basic task computation. Basic task computation. And our outline for today is one, the legal basis of taxation in Nigeria. The legal basis of taxation in Nigeria. Taxation is law and it has to be backed up by law. So what are those laws that promote the assessment, collection, and imposition by court taxes in Nigeria? Then we are going to look at a concept called ascertainment of profits. Ascertainment of profits. Then determination of tax liabilities. Determination of tax liabilities. Principle of loss relief. Then capital allowance, then basis for assessment. And we go back to our practical questions. So this is going to be the outline for today's lecture. The outline for today's lecture. So let's continue. Legal basis, the legal basis. He said, every company that is resident, the word resident, or non-resident in Nigeria is liable to tax if the income derived by a company is taxable in Nigeria. So, when does it seem that, is it deemed that a company is resident in Nigeria? You say a company is resident in Nigeria, if it is what registered or incorporated in Nigeria with who? CAC. It's registered or incorporated in Nigeria. Incorporated with CAC. So, once the company is incorporated in Nigeria, is registered with CAC, we say that company is resident in Nigeria. And any company that is doing business in Nigeria, but not registered with CAC, we say that company is a non-resident companies, a non-resident companies. So we are saying that whether the company is registered in Nigeria or not, if they derive income from Nigeria and such income is liable to tax in Nigeria, then the company must pay tax to Nigerian government. So that is what we are talking about. 